Hey guys, so before we start episode four, I would like to tell you guys about my pre-launch giveaway that I'm having on my Instagram page. So I know that this video is going to launch after August 18th, which is a Tuesday, which is the first day that I'm going to launch and um, post about this giveaway. So if you would like to um, participate in that giveaway, then follow my Instagram account, my business Instagram account, and just follow those steps below. And also just thank you guys. So again, thank you and tune in to episode four. <laughs> What it do, YouTube? So, this I'm back, and I guess this is episode four. I think it's episode four. So, as y'all can see now, I have my little lab going on. So, I clean everything, I got my gloves on, I'm not touching anything. Right now, I'm doing my fourth lip scrub. Um, and it's the color of it, and it's like, well, y'all can see that. And it's bubblegum flavored. So, right now, I'm just putting these in, and then I'm gonna show y'all the stuff that I already made and what and and that they need to get cleaned. Um, I have a bowl right here that my sister made. Yeah, so my little sister made the bowl with soap and water so that I can put these products in and clean them, and then I'm gonna show y'all how I organize these stuff. So, I don't know how to name this episode, but yeah, I'll just show y'all. So, these are my pigments right here. And I think I'm going to make lip glosses today, too. So, that's what I'm doing. So, one thing that I like to do is I don't... I see most of these people that's doing lip glosses and everything. They don't really, like... They just wing it. And sometimes your formula is not the same. So, I like to write down my formulas. I don't want y'all to see it. But y'all can see that I got a notebook. Write down my formulas so that I know exactly how many is going. Cause I know my formula right now makes 16 lip scrubs. Exactly. And I did like four, so it's exact. So I already, so whenever I need to do inventory, I know, okay, this type of thing makes this amount of lip scrubs and then boom, you know what I'm saying? So I don't gotta be like, oh, I don't know which one makes what. I like to know the exact measurements and make everything the same so that it can be repetitive and you get the same results each time so yeah so i'm just you know preparing for that and have everything I, i'm gonna have like future videos of like how to make y'all um y'all websites and business cards and all that stuff but right now i'm just focused on launching and then like once i fully get everything going then i'll show y'all how i made my website and all that stuff um i just got a new logo made which i'm saving for my rebrand because I already have my logo that I made on everything. And I did my best. It's kind of, it's cute, whatever. But someone else hit me up and they was like, let me do your, your, your logo. So I did my logo and that's fire. So I'm going to wait for the rebrand. But right now I'm just doing this. See how everything goes. And then, yeah. So this is all I'm doing right now. And then I'll be back to show y'all what's in this bucket and how I organize them. All right? Okay, y'all. So I finished these lip scrubs. This one is gonna be mine as a tester and that's just mine to use because that's like the lowest one but everything else is filled up. So I got my thing right there. And and this is the bucket that I was trying to show that I was talking about. So so far I made lip oils. I'm clearly I made a lot of lip oils. And these are the other lip scrubs. So this is my gold flakes one, my rose one, and my peach one. So these are the things that I'm going to wash these and I'm not going to put the lip scrubs in that because I don't want the soap and water to seep into the lip scrub things. So I'm going to just clean it with um, alcohol and wipes. So that's how I'm going to clean the lip scrub containers. But these I'm going to clean them in there and I'm going to um, close them really tight. So I have my dishwashing gloves to clean and also my paper towels. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. In the land.
Hey y'all, so I'm in the car with my boyfriend. He came over. Um, we're going to Walmart because I'm running out of avocado oil and I need some more Lysol, walk, Lysol wipes and um, alcohol. So that's what I'm going to Walmart to do. And then I'm going to grocery shopping as well. I could have drove over there, but I just don't like going places by myself, clearly. But um, this is my lip oil that I'm using. I like to use my products first so I know that it's working before I give it out. So, so far, I've been using this product. Well, I made this product officially like last week, Wednesday. So I've been using this every morning and every night. And so far, it helped with my lips. Um, my lips is not as chapped as before. This mark is going away. Um, I think I have a video of my lips before I started using them. But this mark started going away. So I'm just showing y'all how easily it applies with the roses. Because roses have its own benefits. Um, so yeah, I just put it on. One swipe does all that. But I like to do two. One at the bottom, one at the top. And it's a lip oil, okay guys? It's not no lip gloss. So these lip oils are supposed to like help with chappiness and like usually you're supposed to use it after the lip scrub as well to so, like get everything, but yeah. And, these, and it stays on for about 30 minutes to an hour before it seeps into the lips. Lip gloss stays on the lips and let your lips be glossed, but lip oil seep into the lips and give you those benefits. So that's why it has beneficial things and vitamin E oil is the most crucial oil for lip oils. I'm letting y'all know right now. If y'all don't know what vitamin E oil does for the body, y'all should look it up and see the magic that vitamin E has. So that's why I'm really proud of this product. But yeah. See y'all when I'm in Walmart. I don't know why I put it so close to my face. But see y'all when I'm in Walmart. Y'all yeah, look so ugly. I ain't even try to get ready. But we at Walmart. So I'm finna get this stuff because my phone about to die. And I ain't bring my camera. So we about to go inside here, get stuff, and then get out. We had to stop for some Taco Bell because she was hungry. So yeah, that's it. Hey y'all. So. Lord, she's not very nice like as she seems. She's not. She you trying to say I'm trying to fake like she I'm nice? Shut up. Anyways. Is she gonna go or what? We went ham on grocery shopping. But I mean I we haven't been grocery shopping in like what a month or two? Yeah. But anyways, I'm going back home. Don't want my hair. I threw it up in a bun. It was in there. My skin look good, but yeah. So now we're going home, and um, I think he gotta go to work. And yeah, so I'll see y'all when I'm home, and I'll start. I'll sanitize my place and everything <coughs> again, and then start making lip gloss, and I'll show y'all <coughs> the lip glosses that I made, and also like how I organize everything and stuff like that. She was Celine. So that's what I'm gonna do. She I ain't got waves. I'm not wave master daddy no more. You know what I'm saying? He never was. He was trash. Go to the previous vlog and see it. But yeah, my lips. I ain't put the oil since. Follow me on Instagram look at if you want to see my waves. It just sinks to your lips. Good promotion, ain't it? I know. Yeah, look at this. I ain't put my edges and nothing, honey. I'm just sway with it. Sway with it. So right here, period. Alright, y'all. I'm finna go. I think my phone at 10% and it's on extreme mode right now. So, yeah, I'll just talk to y'all when I'm home. Hello, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm back home and I got a few more things for my business and personally, um, besides like getting my groceries, I've done that. So, I'm gonna show y'all that real quick. So, currently, right now, I'm fixing this table up and I'm gonna clean everything and get all my supplies. That's my hand sanitizer. But I put my um my notes 
and stuff right here. I keep it right next to the station. So when I'm done after each um, product I make, I write down a formula. So I just bought this. Let me turn off the air. Okay, now I don't have to yell. So I just bought this calendar from Walmart while I was there grocery shopping. And I got like these um, magnetic markers, whatever. So I just wrote down the month, which is August, and today's the 17th. And yeah, it was real nice and easy. And then I also bought some more sugar. I got a bigger container this time. Well, not container. I got a bigger bag this time. I'm leaving it in the plastic in case it opens. It can open in the plastic. But yeah, pure cane sugar. Um, just a small one. Um, what else? Don't mind my desk either, y'all. <laughs> so, um, I bought... This is my face wash and my oil that I just got today. Um, I just got my Rolo printer and also got some labels. I think it came oh, a couple days ago and I just set it up yesterday. Hey guys, so I finally got my Rolo printer and also the labels right there. So I'm going to unbox this really quickly um, in this video. And... I got it from the original website. I didn't get it from Amazon because it was sold out on Amazon. But yeah, here it is. It has all this stuff. The manual. Y'all want to see the manual? That's the manual. I don't know how we got alcohol swabs. I think that's the clean it. Right, I'm going to take this out and then show y'all. But this packaging is lit. So in this box that, is, that was right there, it's probably the cords. Yeah. It's the cords. And then here's the printer. Okay, guys, so this is the printer. It comes with these sample labels in here just to start it up. And then it also has another wire to connect it to your um, computer. So, yeah, there's that. And also, ooh, child, staying heavy, sweetie. And also, the labels. So, I think. I don't remember how many I got. Oh, pack of 500. So these are 500 Legos. I think these are gonna last me a long time unless my business starts booming. But yeah, that's it on the unboxing. Okay, so hey guys. So the Rolo um, website has like a setup guide and just to test it out and it works. So the first time it printed, um, you see the one is a little bit off and like some is light and then I reprinted it again and it fixed itself. So I just let you guys know. Let me see if I can fix it. Let you guys know that the Rolo is legit and it's really nice and it's quick actually. You can adjust the speed and how dark it is too. So yeah, that's the Rolo printer. So I just set that up and it's really nice and bomb. And this is what I'm gonna use for my, um for when I get the website, I can just, print using this i feel like it's easier and cheaper just to use a rollo and save more money rather than always buying like shipping labels from avery and stuff so that's what i use over there this is my lip gloss thing so um so these are my two lip oils that's just for me so it's not gonna have no label so anything that's for me i'm putting it in here because i like to test my own products as well as sell them so now we're going to get to the organized portion. So in the first one, damn, pull it. Okay, so in the first one, I'm going to make the lip glosses today. But this is going to be the squeeze tubes and this is going to be the wand tubes. And then I already have my lip oils and I already have my lip scrub. Y'all already seen that I was kind of struggling to put these back. But yeah, both of these are washed. These are like things that are ready to get labels put on them and ready to go um so i'm gonna make my lip glosses right after this and yeah so that's just um my products I only have I'm selling four different types of products my next one is like shipping type things or accessories so i have wristbands that are going to be incorporated in the sales that i'm going to do on my website yeah so that's what i'm gonna do and then these are like also tassels 
and just the things to like you know put on the thing so that's it and i don't know what to put in these other two things but yeah and i got these containers i got oh okay i got these containers from walmart i took the label off but it came in like a two pack so it's like two each so i got four of them and it wasn't that much either it was like two dollars i think so that's why i got eight and then in the bottom is like my photo part section whatever that's my Rolo handbook and like alcohol pads and stuff. And my, um, that's the charger for the camera that I got and all that stuff. And these are my SD cards. That's there for like camera stuff. And then I got my carts, my diamonds, and my rug and my photo booth, which I'll show y'all in the next episodes um yeah so that's it and that's basically what's in these these three drawers so this is the like finished products type of drawer stations that i got up shipping station all that stuff right and this station is like where all the magic happens where i create things once i'm done creating stuff I put them in here because this tells me that these are the things that need to be um, washed. And also, this is, helps me keep count of how many I have of whatever product. And then I moved my 10 drawer organizer over here. So, that's my um, lip oil caps and a big organza bag. That's the soap. Um, where am I green soap at? I think it's right behind Oh. So, yeah, that's my thing. I got my own spudge sponge and then that's my tape and all that stuff so all that stuff is over there so if i need to grab a tube and all that stuff i grab everything put it on here and then when i'm done with everything i grab everything up and put them back over here so that's what everything looks like basically just a little overview and yeah that's basically how i organize everything so right now i'm just going to make some lip glosses and some wand tubes and then I'm going to fill those up and do some of that. I'm going to show y'all some of that. And then after that, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Just an episode to show y'all how I'm basically storing all these things and just new, the new things that I also got and the products that I made and where do I keep them. So that's basically the summary of this. Um, vlog. All right, y'all. So... I'm in the middle of making my first batch and my little sister here is my model. So hey guys. Turn the light towards you. So while I'm making these glasses, I wanna see how it will actually look on somebody. So I just wanna make sure I don't add too much or too little. And I think I made it the right batch on the first try. The light ain't the best, but you get the point. You get the point. We had tried out different batches like um turn the light. So we tried different batches like to make sure like it wasn't too thin, it wasn't too thick, and I think I got the perfect consistency that would stay on all like all day, but it's not too thick to a, to the point like it's sticky and stuff. So I'm excited. I'm glad my little sister's a model here. So I can actually see it on somebody. And I woke up when she came from the store. And before my lips was chappy. And she put it on. And it actually my lips are smooth. Y'all see how it's staying on though? Y'all see It's not that? dripping. It's not thick and sticky. Yeah, it was on, show, show it on your hand. It was on her hand. And, my and lips normally, are smooth. yeah, so I think I'm getting this down. Um, I like to weigh. I, I got my weight here because I, I want to weigh how much TKB I actually use. So I know how much I need to buy. But yeah. Imperfect measurements. Yeah. Um, I'm watching Chris Brown's tour right now. While I'm working, I had to put it on pause. But I'm just letting y'all know the little progress and the method that we have. So yeah, you know. I'll see y'all when I'm done and show y'all the lip glosses that I made. Okay, so hey y'all, so right now my little sister is um, 
cleaning up the bowls and all that other stuff. These are my formulas, and these are the things that I use. I just finished making a clear. So if you let the if you let them sit, the bubbles disappear. And you know, see this one has bubbles, but if I let it sit, the bubbles are gonna clear up. So I just made a clear. Um, these are the ones that like couldn't be filled. So this one's mine. And my little sister mixed mixed us the glitter with the butterfly one. And she made that her little custom one for her to use. These are the rest of the things. And these are the other three that we came up with. So as y'all can see, as y'all can see, it's like, you know, clear now. The clear. And I'm finna wash these and put them in the thingy. And then, yeah, and I'll just come back and check with y'all. So, hey, y'all. So, I just finished washing the tubes and everything. So, these are the wand tubes here. And then these are the squeeze tubes. Um... I think I'm going to make it a little thicker. Yep, a little thicker. But they are they good. They're smooth. She's putting one on right now. This is the one that we mixed because yeah, I showed them. Off. Just put it on. She put it on, you know. When it goes on, it glides on and it goes on smoothly. So, and it's all vegan products. So when she launch, I better copy y'all so I support my sis. So yeah, she's a supporter. But I'm gonna put these in the organizer and this is the end of episode four. So as this is probably the last time I'm gonna talk, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And you know, just follow me along on this journey. And I also created an Instagram account, y'all. Um, the Instagram account for my business is Benevolent Lip on Instagram. And I also got a TikTok at Benevolent Lips. Okay? So, the only reason I ain't put Benevolent Lips on Instagram is because someone took that. So, I have to put Benevolent Lip with a P. No S. But, yeah. Y'all follow me on there. Um, and y'all, you know, just stay tuned. Y'all gonna be updated on the process that I'm doing. You know, um when i'm gonna launch and all this other good stuff and that's where y'all gonna actually access my stuff i'll put a link down below as well so y'all just look in my description bar y'all gonna see my the link to my instagram and to my tiktok and yeah so if y'all made it to episode four thank you you're real you're the true one i like you if y'all want videos of me making my glosses like just a video like how i do it and stuff let me know. I'm not going to give y'all my formula, but I'm going to just let y'all know the process of how I make these glosses, how I make the lip scrubs, how I make the lip oils, and stuff like that. So, if y'all want that, then let me know, and I'll do videos like that in the future. This ring light is going in my glasses. Anyway, so, yeah. Stay tuned, and watch until the end of the video. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. See y'all in the next episode. Uh -huh. Fine, fine.